Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share some bunny treat boxes or gift boxes. I'm hosting um, Easter dinner this year and I thought these little guys would be so cute. I just love them. I just have some Easter colored um, grass or paper or basket pillar, whatever you would like to call it. Um, tucked inside because I haven't put my little goodies or treats in there yet. Let me make sure I'm in camera here. So I have a new angle on my um, camera and I'm not quite used to it yet. Anyway, I got four done already and I'm still making more so I thought I would stop what I was doing and share with you how I'm making them. So let me get out my scoreboard. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. So to create the box, you're going to need a sheet that measures five and a half by five inches. Line it up at the five and a half inch mark. And you're going to score at two and a quarter. And then again at three and a quarter. So two and a quarter, three and a quarter. Flip it to the five inch mark. And you're going to score at one inch on both sides. So one inch on this side, turn it all the way around and score one inch on this side. And then you can set your scoreboard aside. And we're going to fold up on our score lines. These little bunny faces would be really cute for, you know, you can make a card with them. I was putting them together and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be so cute as a little card. Or, you know, if you give gifts away, <clears throat> you could just use the bunny face and punch a hole in and make it a gift tag. It's just a lot of options with these cute little guys. Okay, so my score lines are folded and we're going to end up cutting on this score line to meet up with this score line, but we're not going to cut over. Just going to cut straight up to meet that other score line. And you're going to end up with three flaps. So one, on each side and then your center flap. Turn it around and do the same thing on this side. Okay, so you have your center flap and then your two ends. The center flaps I pretty much just fold in because I'm going to add adhesive on this side. While I'm using liquid glue, you guys can use whatever you'd like. And I'm just going to, maybe, I'm going to use liquid glue. Let's see. There we go. <clears throat> so you're going to put it on this flap, and you're going to fold your box up and have this side meet this side. Okay. And then... I just push it down with my bone folder and then the same thing with this little flap here fold it in add an adhesive and fold them up to meet and press down okay so you're left with something that looks like this we're going to add glue to this flap here We're going to fold this box down and then fold this side over. But you want to be careful before you really push your flap down that everything lines up nicely. And then I'm just going to push it down with my bone folder. And then we have one more flap left. And 
and just fold it down. It's a pretty easy, <clears throat> pardon me, pretty easy little treat box. Okay, so now that our box is done, we're going to set this aside. And you want to get out your, your cutter. Let me make sure I'm in camera here. Yes, okay. So for the bunny bases, I used scallop circles. And this is the size I use. It's the second size down. And these are um, the classic scallop circles, large. Now I'm gonna cut two, you gotta cut two out in the white card stock. And if you don't have the dies, that's okay. If you just have like a Cricut or a cutter, what you want to do is cut yourself two scallop circles that measure three and a qu three and three quarters. And I'm going to line them both up. And I'm going to put them in my cutter. And I'm going to have these two scallop ends line up with the three inch cut line. Okay, so three inches, you want to make sure two scallops are touching, and then cut. Three inches, two scallops, cut. So you have these little pieces left over, and then your two scallop circles should look like this. <clears throat> Get my cutting mat away here. Okay, now we're going to put our bunny face together. For the ears, I have two oval white scallops cut at two and a half inches. And then I cut out two oval scallop pink ones at two inches. So I'm going to flip these over and I'm going to add some foam tape on them for dimension on the pink part here. And here, and we're going to center them in the white oval scallop, just like that. And I'm going to use my two scallops up top here as like my centerpiece. Just going to add liquid glue to the bottom of the oval. And I'm going to kind of angle it off, maybe midway of that scallop. And you'll see what I mean as soon as I glue it on. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. About a quarter of the way up the ear, I put an adhesive, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so I have those two center scallops, and I angled my little bunny ears off on each side. Then you're going to need two half inch black circle pieces. These are going to be the eyes. And I'm just going to take my white jelly roll pen and I'm going to draw just like a half a crescent line on each side on the left hand side of each one. And then you're going to flip those over Add a little bit of foam tape for dimension. You don't have to, you could glue these right on, but I really wanted this little bunny face to look dimensional. And then what I like to do before I peel the tape is put them back on and see where I want to line them up at. And 
And now I'll peel that off and place that on. Okay, so now we're going to make this part of the little face here. I have two white circles that are cut at one inch. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the edge here and overlap them and glue them together. Just like that. And I'm going to take my um, thin Sharpie and I'm going to draw three lines towards the center. And I'm going to kind of arch them a little bit. So one. The center one I make a little bit shorter. Two and then three. And I'll do the same thing on this side. One. Two. Three. And from my little tiny half inch heart punch, I cut out a pink heart for the nose. So I'm just going to put a little piece of foam tape on that. And then I'm going to try and center the, the, the center of the heart and the tip right in the center of these two circles. So it looks like that. And I think I'm going to go out with this line a little bit more. It's just kind of easier to do when it's not before you put the heart on. I'm going to flip that over and cut a piece of foam tape. that on and put that right below the eyes there for this little bunny face and then I'm going to take my thicker sharpie marker it still has a fine point to it and right below in the center of these two circles I'm just going to draw a little U for his mouth and that's it. That's all you have to do to assemble these. And then I have a random stamp. I don't, I've had this forever in my stash. I don't, I think I got it at a yard sale. But I stamp Somebody Loves You. You can use maybe Happy Easter if you have that. I'm, you know, I'm not sure. Cut something out with your Cricut. But I'm just going to stick that sentiment right there in the middle of his ear. Okay, we're going to get our box back out, and I'm going to put adhesive on the front of the box. I'm going to set the box down, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to back it right up to the box. Turn it around, make sure it's even, and then I'm going to take my bone folder and press down. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Put some adhesive on this side of the box. Set the box down. Take my scallop circle, the flat part on the bottom, and butt it right up against the box. And then I stick my two fingers on the sides to make sure it's balanced and even and there's not one sticking out further on each side. And that looks pretty good. Alright, and then I'm going to run my bone folder again on the inside of the box. And that's our box. Now the handle, I cut at one inch by five and a half. And I'm just going to run my bone folder underneath it just to kind of get it curled up and loose a little. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the outside of the handle, but I'm going to put it on the inside of my box and I'm going to try and center it between those two ears. And that 
looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. A little bit of adhesive on the outside of the handle and I'm going to put it on the inside of the box. And that's it guys. That is my little bunny box. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope you have fun making yours if you give it a try. Um, take care and happy crafting.